Hey guys, this is my second video in my Christmas series of videos that I usually do around this time of year. Um, and I'm very happy to bring you all my 2021 uh, Trains in the Basement uh, layout that I actually, um, it's kind of lazy this year. I kept it up all year round and I didn't really pay attention to it and I just took all the Christmas stuff off of it. Um, and then so at the beginning of like December, I put all the Christmas stuff back on it, uh, just for the Christmas season. Um, and then, uh, just today I added the lighted garland along the front, which I think looks really nice. Um, so I'm just going to go over just briefly everything that's on it for this year. Um, and then I'm going to demonstrate the, the trains going for you guys. And I'm going to show it with the lights on and the lights off. Um and uh, I may have to turn off the Christmas lights around the room if they ha uh, create too much light as well. Um, I thought I'd turn those on. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I guess first on the outer track here this year I have kind of a it's sort of like a mixed set um, that I kind of made I, I kind of made um, out of various items that I own. Uh, the engine is this uh, Chessy System B&O GM50. Um, I don't know uh, the number of this one because I got it in well, I got it from my grandfather a long time ago, um, and uh, he gave it to me in in, in an unoriginal box. Uh, so I'm not sure what the original number would be, um, but it is uh, the GM50 for the model for the 50th anniversary of um, General Motors. It's a GP7 uh, locomotive, I think, I believe. I'm not too good with these. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty gold color, so that's the reason why I chose it, because it goes with kind of the theme that I have here for this train. Um, so then I got the uh, next couple of cars are all from the... Uh, actually, all the rest of the cars are all from the Hershey's uh, Holiday Express set from K-Line. I got the Hugs and Kisses Hopper, the... Uh, Happy Holidays uh, boxcar, the Hugs boxcar, um, Season's Greetings boxcar, and then the Lighted Caboose. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I decided to do all those. I do have a couple of other Christmas boxcars up in the attic that I could get if I really wanted to, but I don't know. I think I like this sort of shorter train. Um, yeah, and like I said, the gold kind of engine kind of goes with the gold and that car and everything else. So yeah, and then on the inner track I have um, the, uh, it's actually the Li uh, Lionel B&O uh, Capital Limited set that I got uh, from my grandma a few years back. I think she bought it at like some antique store or something for, she, she paid a lot for it. She honestly should not have paid that much for it, but um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm glad to have it. It's a nice set. Um, it's got the steam locomotive with the puffing smoke and the uh, tender with the sound of steam uh, soundboard in it that uh, is synchronized to the speed of the wheels and the puffing of the smoke and it's got the uh, combination car the passenger car and the observation car um, so yeah there are, and all three of those cars are lighted. Now this one, the combination car up here in the front, I did have an issue with. One of the wires broke off, so the lights weren't working, so I had to fix that. Um, and then there's another one, I think it's like the passenger car that the uh, roller keeps falling off of, so that's an issue. So, I mean, it's an MPC era set, so it's not the best quality, but it is it is a really nice little set. And I do like it because it's Baltimore and Ohio. Obviously, I'm in Baltimore, so it's... A nice set to have, and it goes with the uh, B&O uh, locomotive on here. So, yeah, now the uh, actual, like, buildings and everything, I've got some of the cardboard box buildings you can see mainly on this side, but some of these are actual ceramic buildings. I've got, like, this one is the Department 56 uh, chapel, and then there's the inn and the restaurant here. I don't know uh, if these are, I'm not sure what brand these are, but I do know that that one's Department 56 because I have the box of that one. Um, I have a couple of little cute little hedges here that surround this, uh, the twinkling tree. 
that's a department, or I can't remember if this, if this is Department 56 or Lee Max. I think this one is Department 56, actually. Um, yeah. Um, and then this Christmas tree has also got some LED lights on it. Um, they're uh, plugged into a 5-volt adapter. And then the farm is over here with all the animals. I got a bunch of deer over here. Um, the railroad crossing with the, this gate does not work, but this one is working and it does actually function as a actual crossing gate every time the train goes by. Um, and then over here I've got another store, um, and then the coal station here that actually has lights in it. It's, le it's lighted. Very nice. And then over here I've got an airport with a airplane and a water tower that says Merry Christmas. And then back there I've got some Reese's, or not Reese's, well that one is Reese's, but they're Hershey's from the Hershey's set billboards. Um, there's one there as well, and the gas station to kind of block the transformer. So, um, and then a few of the billboards are lighted, like that one over there. I just stuck some lights on them. Um, these are connected to the track, so they'll light up when the trains are on. And the, oh, and the train station, this is really cute. Um, it's like the actual little... Uh, train station thing from that classic train set that I used to have by Racing Pro that I've never found another one of except for by that Russian YouTuber um, that I stuck a little light in and I just wired it up with the rest of the lamp posts and everything and it's super cute and it looks really cool and really good. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start up the trains now. Um, so I'll start up the outer track first. The outer track is powered by this uh, Lionel Transformer. And this locomotive does not have any sound, so it's just a, you know, you just get the sounds of the cars rolling over the tracks and the sound of the motor. And I will do the outer, or the inner track is powered by the remote. If I can get it to work. I think my batteries in my remote might be dying. There we go. Going, it was going super fast, now it's going super slow. That's good.
All right. So that is it for this video and this year's edition of the Trains in the Basement layout, um, which, if you may remember, was formerly known as Trains in the Attic when we lived at our old house. I think one thing I did forget to mention is this tunnel over here. Uh, was given to me by my mom, actually, last Christmas, uh, Christmas gift. Um, I think it looks really nice there. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and more to come.